Hey everybody, maybe you've been watching March Madness. I love March Madness, and now we know who's in the Final Four. I have to admit my brackets are busted, just like everybody's el everybody else's brackets. It's been complete madness. At this point, I think I'm cheering for Duke because I want Coach K uh, to go out on top. What a magical story that would be. But one of the things that I've noticed is I love watching, and I've watched a lot of basketball the last two weekends. I love when they focus on the coach. And one of the things I've noticed are the three areas where a coach is always looking. And I think there's a good leadership lesson in that. The coach is always looking at the court, of course, because he wants to know what's going on in the game. He's secondly looking to his bench, both his players and also listening to his coaches, making sure he's checking people in and out and checking in with them. And he's also uh, looking at the scoreboard. So you see the coach kind of craning his neck, looking up at the scoreboard, because that's the way in which his leadership and his team's effectiveness is being measured. I think that's really important. And I think as far as leaders go, we need to be thinking of the same thing. We need to be looking at the court where our leadership game is being played. We need to look to the bench, look to our team, and make sure we're listening and caring and leading them well. And also look to the scoreboard. What are the metrics by which we're measuring our effectiveness? Now, one of the things that I've noticed that a coach never does is he never looks to the crowd. He's not looking at the cheerleaders. He's not looking at the fans. He's not listening to the critics during the game. The focus is on the game, on the court. It's on his bench, and it's on the scoreboard. I think that's really important for you as a leader today to make sure you're focusing on the game at hand, your team, and the metrics or the measurements by which you will measure the effectiveness of your team. And remember this, ignore the crowd and focus on what's most important today.